Since this function is private, it means we cannot call it from outside. So this is accessible only inside our uh, class here. So what I'm going to create is another func which is not private and we are going to call this refresh data and this function will be uh, we will be able to call it from outside to refresh our weather info will uh, which in its turn is going to call our private function here because we are already inside our class and we can access this information so we have this uh, public available function so if I go to my weather view and in my view did appear let's get rid of this print so we have an instance of our weather view controller and our weather view controller as you can remember we have an instance of current weather here which we can set so let's do that so I'm going to say weather view dot current weather and now we are accessing this setting this variable here because we promised that we are going to set this so we set this and the way we are going to set is to create a new instance of current weather class which is our model here so we instantiate a current weather object and our current weather object if you scroll down here has this nice function get current weather which will download from our API the information about our current weather. So we can access this as well, which in its turn is going to set all our uh, variables, their parameters of our class. So if I say uh, weather view dot current weather, because we are accessing our newly instantiated current weather object, and then I'm going to say get current weather with completion handler, and this one I'm going to call success in case it was successful and for now I'm going to just call uh, my weather view and I'm going to say refresh data so once our current weather information is downloaded we're going to refresh data to see if our weather view will display this data because it will take from its current weather instance and display the information we just set here so let's run our code and let's jump back to our function here and okay well, I forgot to delete this print statement but it's okay we will do it later so we have uh, my current city name here which is printed uh, the today is March 7 um, then we have our uh, weather information which is in Celsius 11.7 and we have our uh, weather info in text which is clear sky so it means that our current weather is downloaded successfully and it's passed to our weather view and it can display this information apart from this our current weather uh, holds much more information which you can see everything here our current temperature feels like pressure humidity wind speed etc which we are going to set in our uh, collection view here down so we can see the first part of our code is working so we can just move on and uh, do the design of the rest and then we can test all together so for now this was just a short code we're not going to use this part here you can even delete it in our next lecture we are going to continue designing the rest of our user interface.